Dub Nation, Harrison Graham here for today's video. Here's the deal. I know the Warriors lost last night, but win or lose, we always support Golden State. And if you love the dubs like I do, like this video. Win, lose, doesn't matter. Got to support your squad. Like the video if you are with me, if you are part of Dub Nation. With that being said, major Clay Thompson injury rumors, plus a little bit of fallout from last night's loss to the Phoenix Suns. You are watching Golden State Warriors today. I am Harrison Graham hosting today's show. We'll talk about that uh, loss from last night, as I mentioned. But first, let's talk injury stuff. Is Clay Thompson close to a return? Potentially. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors out there. The Warriors have recalled Clay Thompson from the Santa Cruz Warriors. Damian Lee and James Wiseman have also been recalled with Clay as well. The anticipation, the hype, uh, the anxiousness, it continues to grow for Dub Nation, and I certainly do not blame any of you guys for that. We all want to see Clay Thompson back, right? I mean, it's been a long, long journey. I mean, it's wild to think about he has not played since that final series against the Toronto Raptors. That <laughs> that was a long time ago at the end of the day. Plus, to add fuel to the fire, Steve Kerr went out of his way to mention Clay Thompson last night. He was talking about the loss to the Suns, and he said this, teams are going to co commit people to Steph the way Phoenix did. There's going to be openings for Jordan Poole, openings for Otto Porter. Those guys knocked down a bunch of threes. And openings for Clay Thompson as well. It's going to be fun. So for him to go out of his way, and by the way, when he said Clay Thompson, he kind of gave the media a little smile, kind of, you know, almost like a little wink, like, yeah, you know, he, he might be close to returning soon. I'm going to connect some dots. I think Clay is pretty close. I, I think he is close to returning to the basketball court for the Golden State Warriors. And if that is the case, that is very, very exciting. I'm not reporting that he's going to play, you know, in the next week or anything like that. I just feel like you get the feeling that Clay Thompson, his rehab's going well, and that uh, he is either at or close to 100% and ready to rock for the Golden State Warriors. So, what do you guys think? Will Clay Thompson return before Christmas? It's December 1st today. We're in the month of December. We finally got here. Will he return before this? This will be the pinned comment on today's video. Will Clay Thompson return before Christmas? Give me a Y for yes. Give me an N for no. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Will Clay Thompson return? If you get hit with this YouTube ad break, go ahead and scroll down and answer this question. Now, I do want to mention that just because Clay Thompson and James Wiseman and Damian Lee, I want to include them as well, uh, returned, re got recalled from Santa Cruz, doesn't mean they're 100% healthy. What it most likely means is Golden State has been on the road and now they're returning home, so those guys can just practice with the Golden State Warriors instead of traveling all over the place uh, for this most recent road trip. But uh, I still think there's reason to be uh, curious and wonder if Clay Thompson is close to returning. Hopefully it happens soon because the last six years we saw from Clay during that magical run was tremendous. I mean, you're talking about one of the greatest shooters of all time. Uh, 21 and a half points per game, 42% from three. Uh, we know how good of a defender he is as well. I just want to see him hoop, man. I just want to see Clay Thompson hoop. He's one of those guys, just get him on your team. He's going to ball out for you. Like he, He's just a fun player. He's the ultimate team guy. He's an, a guy that can electrify a crowd with how hot he can get. I'll never forget the 37-point quarter against the Sacramento Kings several years ago. Just want to see this guy hoop again, man. The NBA is better when Clay Thompson is playing uh, on a nightly basis. Which brings me to this. How much have you missed Clay? Scale of 1 to 100. 1, not at all, which means you're not a Warriors fan. Or 100, you've missed him just tremendously. How about 150? That's where I'm at. I have missed Clay a ton. I just want to see uh, how he can help this current team. That's already incredible. They're 18 and 3 through 21 games. So how much have you missed him? Scale it from 1 to 100. Now, how about this? You don't need to miss this hoodie because it's literally 75% off. You can find it at chatsports.com slash warriors hoodie right now. This hoodie is literally $18. Usually it's $65. This deal ain't going to last forever. Chatsports.com slash warriors hoodie. Get this thing for 75% off. I'll have this link in the, li in the comments in the, ch in the description as well. Click and shop today. 
Let's talk a little more about that game on Tuesday night. Warriors lost to Phoenix 104-96. to Steph certainly cooled off. He struggled uh, pretty mightily, if we're being honest. 4 of 21 from the field in this one. Uh, and I think a, a bigger storyline is emerging in the NBA. Uh, Phoenix is Golden State's biggest challenge right now. I mean, they're, they're the one team that – currently, if you went to a seven-game series with, could conceivably beat Golden State. Now, I'm not saying I would pick Phoenix over the Warriors. I'm saying that I would not even think twice about any other team beating the Warriors right now in a seven-game series. But Phoenix uh, it, it is different uh, with that um, with that 104-96 uh, win on Tuesday night for the Suns. They are certainly capable of of beating Golden State like that. They proved that last night. Now, Golden State will get another crack at them soon, and they don't have Klay Thompson or James Wiseman back yet, but that could certainly uh, shift things in the Western Conference. Steph Curry, uh, minus 17 of the box score, only had 12 points, 4 of 21 from the floor. So, obviously, you would like uh, to see him play better, but the reality of this, Steph has these games. Shooters have clunkers. That's just, that's just how the NBA works. Uh, they have bad nights. You're not, you know, this this isn't a, a center that's going to shoot consistently over 50% from the field. Steph, one night, is going to go 12 for 15 from three, and then he'll go, you know, three of 12. I mean, that's just how things go. Uh, it's just unfortunate that he didn't play his best in this very hyped game. Uh, you know, the billing of this matchup coming in was obviously uh, huge with the two best teams in the NBA right now getting after it. Who's the better team right now? Now, obviously, the Suns won last night, but better team right now. Type W for Warriors, type S for Suns. I think these are clearly the best two teams in the NBA. Uh, I think if the Warriors are fully healthy, the answer is them. You could still argue that it is. They're both 18-3. and three. Get your votes in W for Warriors or S for Suns. Now you look at the Western Conference standings, it's wild how it's shaping up this year. Top twos, Phoenix, Golden State, 18-3. and three, Those are the top two teams. Phoenix is a clear third right now, or Utah, excuse me, is a clear third right now. Then 4 through 10 are all separated by a half game. Dallas 10 and 9, Memphis 11 and 10. You got the Clippers at 11 and 10, Timberwolves as well, Lakers at 12 and 11, Blazers at 11 and 11, and Denver at 10 and 10. I think the two teams outside the top 3, which again are Phoenix, Golden State, and Utah, the two teams that could get into that upper echelon mix, I think are obviously the Lakers if they can figure things out and Denver. Keep an eye on Denver once Jamal Murray gets healthy. I think that changes things for them. Sure, if Kawhi plays this year for the Clippers, but I don't think he's going to. What's wild about the Suns, they didn't lose a game in November. They've won 17 in a row after a 1-3 and three start. Phoenix is a real team to be concerned with. They went to the finals last year. They've won 17 in a row. They just beat Golden State last night. That is the team, Dub Nation, that you need to keep an eye on throughout this season because I think that's going to be your Western Conference Finals unless there's a dramatic shift in power. Hey, want to remind you guys, subscribe. The best Golden State Warriors coverage on YouTube. News, rumors, updates, injury news, and a whole lot more. Don't miss any of it. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Warriors TV. Uh, we got to mention Jordan Poole because the pool party just never ends. It just never ends. It's December, and we're still swimming in the bay because, my God, Jordan Poole continues to bring it. He single-handedly kept the Warriors in that game against Phoenix last night. The breakout season has been huge for this team. The developmental story has been awesome. The latest player to develop under this organization. Look at what he did. 9 of 15, 6 of 12, 28 points. This is a guy taking advantage of Steph Curry, Curry garnering a lot of attention. And that is what uh, Steve Curry alluded to uh, that we mentioned in that quote earlier in the video is Jordan Poole is taking advantage of his opportunities because teams focus in on Steph. So a guy like Poole needs to ball out. And hey, look, I'm still dripping after leaving the, the pool party because it's just it never stops. I mean, the pool party never stops in Golden State, in the Bay. I mean, they call, they, they're they going to change it from the Bay to the pool at this point because that's just how good Jordan Poole has been for Golden State this season. It's impressive. I, I'm loving what I'm seeing from this kid. When Clay gets back and he gets some attention too, watch out because I don't know how you defend this Warriors team. Now, currently, who is the Warriors' second best player? To keep Clay out of the conversation because he's not playing. Is it Jordan Poole? Is it Andrew Wiggins? Is it Draymond Green? Who is it? Steph is obviously the best. I want to know who you guys think the second best player is on Golden State right now. Get your votes in, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon here on the channel.